In the previous videos, we discussed the main components of an Ozone server and the containers, but we didn't check the data nodes in detail. So finally, we are closer and closer to the real interesting technical details, uh, to the deep, closer to the deep ocean, where we can talk about the real deep questions. So let's start to talk about in this video about the data nodes and the rough protocol, and especially how the rough protocol is used in Apache Hadoop. Ozone. So this is ozone what we are talking about and this is this was the, the main structure of the components. As a reminder we have two master nodes, one for the block space management and the other one is for the key space management. Today we will talk only about the block space management. So we have one master node and a lot of data nodes. So what is in the data node? If we check the data nodes, for example, the running network services, we have three main network services. One is the data node protocol. So the client connects to the data node directly and tries to upload the data or download the data based on the suggestion from the master node. So, but at the end of the flow, the client directly will connect to the data node, similar to HDFS. There is a heartbeat protocol between the data node and the storage container manager, the SCM, where the data node can report the current state. And in the response, the SCM can ask favors from the data nodes. And we have an internal raft or Redis endpoint, which is some kind of communication between the specific set of data nodes. Raft is a consensus algorithm for managing a replicated log. That's from the definition. So we will see that the final goal is replicate some kind of state, but we will do the replication with the help of replicating messages one by one in a log. And what we are using in Apache Hadoop Ozone is Apache Redis, which is an Apache incubator project, and this is a rough protocol implementation. But what is very important that this is an embedded library. So if you think about Zookeeper, then this is something which is similar to the Zookeeper, but you can embed it and you can replace any of the components. So Zookeeper, you can, you can let's say you can save key and value to Zookeeper, but here you can define that what kind of messages will be replicated between the data nodes or the Redis nodes. And it's very optimized for, for this Ozone use case, so it can be, can be very fast. So this is the picture what we have. So we have a client and the client will connect to the data node. Obviously first the client connects to the storage container manager and or the ozone manager and from the ozone manager and storage container manager, it can receive the information that which data node should be connected to. So let's say I have the data node and I'm connected to the data node. This is a good old uh, gRPC protocol but between one data node and the other data node, there is this Raft protocol implementation uh, and Raft. So if you are interested about the Raft, there is a dedicated page in the raft.github.io. There are some visualization and a lot of useful link. So the most famous one is this in search of an understandable consensus algorithm which is i think it's 18 pages or something like this so this is the description of the rough protocol and there is a longer version as a phd dis dissertation ah yes this one and i strong strongly recommend this one this is very interesting especially if you already read the short version this is 260 pages so first of all it started as understandable and we can ask that, oh, is it really understandable if we need 260 pages? And actually the understandable part is proved by this work, which is very interesting. And uh, both the rough protocol and both the Paxos, which is a, an other consensus algorithm, which was widely used before Raft. 
uh, explained to students and after a uh, quiz given to the students and it has been found that the student and students uh, got better points in the raft quiz so maybe it's easier to explain that's the that's the statement but it's very interesting to see actually the original questions can be checked so if you know something about raft protocol you can just test your knowledge but let's go back to the to the ozone so here we have this master node, the storage container manager, and we have a lot of data nodes. The data nodes are reporting to the SCM, and in the heartbeat response, the SCM can ask favors from the data nodes. For example, that can you please form a quorum and store something? For example, so usually we need uh, three data nodes from for one rough ring, the quorum. So the SCM can select three data nodes and ask them to, to create this uh, rough ring and replicate the data between them. Which usually means that we need a, a leader, so we will have a leader and we will have a, a two followers, but this is handled by the rough protocol. And there are some communication between them and this is what uh, we would like to check. So what we need, we, we should replicate some kind of state. Let's say that the state is nothing more, just a map. In Ozone we have slightly more complicated state, but at the end of the day we have just some state. And what we would like to do is that if the client connects to the leader, we would like to be sure that this state, for example an uploaded byte array or an uploaded file, is safely replicated to all of the other nodes. Safely replicated means that if I kill any of the nodes then the work should be continued without without any error or data loss. Okay, how can I do it? Well, in the in the raft actually, we are not replicating the state machine between the services. We are replicating the messages, some kind of comments. So let's say I have an empty map, and if I apply all of these messages one by one, then I will have some kind of state. And if I can safely replicate all of these uh, messages to a follower, then I can have follower, I can have exactly the same state here, right? So this is, this is why it was defined as a replicated log, that the only thing what I should do is that if I have a new client request, I should transform it to a raft request and somehow the raft will replicate this one. In Redis, the state machine can be can be given, or actually it should be defined. So it can be a map, it can be a set, or it can be some storage with some kind of state. And this is what we do in Ozone. So we have a very specific state machine, and we have a, a lot of messages. Actually, it's some kind of chunk, right? So uh, chunk is a unit of the uploaded data. So we discussed that the data is uh, stored in blocks, but the blocks is um, it could be a few hundred megabytes, so it's better to upload the data in, in smaller chunks. So let's say we are uploading a few chunks, and all of these chunk messages should be replicated to all of the followers. That's the, the only, 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 uh, Task. So let's say I have three chunk write messages and they will be replicated to the follower and in the meantime the client can request more chunk writes, let's say one more. So when the leader will connect to the other follower, then all of the all of the actual messages will be replicated to here. In the meantime, we can have more messages from the client and when the leader connects to the follower next time, all of the missing messages, oh, the copy of the missing messages will be replicated to here. So this is the game. This is nothing more. And when the data is replicated, we should execute the comments, the chunk writes, to, and, and just uh, add all of this data to the state. 
sort of state machine. In this video, we wouldn't like to talk about the state machine, that there are very interesting questions in the state machine, but this video is nothing more just uh, repli it, this video is about repli replicating the messages. So let's replicate the message. We need a few pointer just to make the replication easier. For example, I always forget all of my tasks, so it's easier just to, to write down. So, okay, this is a pointer. Let's go back to here. So, I need two pointer actually. One is, it, it points to the last index. This is, let's call it last index. So, this is nothing more, just a pointer to the index of the last element. So, let's just move them together. So, this is here, the last element in the log is, is this one. So, we have a log all of the messages are persisted immediately after it's received. So one note that if it's saved to the disk, then it's very safe. Actually, if it's saved saved to the disk in the majority of the nodes, it's safe to return to the user. And it's safe only if we do a sync, and that's one reason why we strongly recommend to use SSD for these kind of logs, logs because we need to sync very frequent, frequently to the disk. So, new message. The only thing what I should do is just write the message to the log and update the index. Okay, but we, uh, we discussed that we need to apply the messages to the state machine. So we have a last applied index which means that all of these messages are delivered to the, to the state machine. So that's another one, and these messages are applied. And actually, it can be different for all of the servers. So this is one follower, and here, let's say, only this one is applied. And here, this one is applied. Okay. And the messages by the leader just share so the six will be copied here with the next heartbeat and the seven when can we increase the applied index that's 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 the question well the state machine is about the current replicated state so we can increase this last applied index which means that all of these messages will be applied to the state machine executed in the state machine so we can do it only if the majority has this index okay how do i know that what has the majority well that's very 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 easy this is the responsibility responsibility of the leader itself so the leader has three pointers actually so there is the own pointer this is this is the follower one pointer and this one is also maintained by the leader and this is a third pointer and this one so everybody reports back to the leader that where is this pointer and we can see that okay the leader itself has the seven the follower one the blue follower has the seven so it's very safe the majority has the seven so we have some final magic uh, label, which is the last commit index, which is more like a to-do. So until this index, everything can be applied. And this one, all of the other followers will be informed about this last commit index. So this last commit index is seven. So, okay, this last commit index will be sent to the follower together with the missing messages. So if the last commit index is uh, seven, the leader can just one by one execute all of the remaining messages from the log. That's what we can do. So this is more like a, a to-do, which can be shared. And here we have exactly the same to-do. So in the background, all of the messages one by one will be executed. And which means that the data will be saved. But even before executing, we have the data, right? We have the data. So if the majority is saved, the, the majority of the servers save the data in the log, even if it's not in the state machine, it's, it's, it's in safe, right? It's on the disk. It's 
written under written on the disk but not applied uh, index so that's all what we have in so these are three data nodes and when you write a chunk any bytes they are replicated with this approach actually these messages can be combined and in a batch in one heartbeat can be sent to the other followers and if based on the information from the response the leader can decide if the request can be returned to the client that because it's safe everybody has the uh, right information okay so that's the overall picture of the rough protocol and how is it used in inside the apache hadoop boson data nodes but there are a few other questions for example that how can we store something in the data node what can fit in the state machine but it can be discussed in an next video